Hello, my name is Walter, and welcome back to a uh, hashtag Walter Rex for you and a throwback reaction for you. This is episode the last chapter season three, episode eight, and uh, this is called the Puffer Master. Yes, this one is really eerie and really creepy and really weird and really well, just darn uncomfortable from start to finish. And you know, I think it's very much something which is like. All power is evil and all that. And I I guess to some extent it's still very much true, but I think for me it's more on like how it's done and you know where it's done and everything. I think this episode really did it well and everything. So yeah, we will see it after I just finish my water here. And um, you know it's all about like Katara's choice here as well, like. She has to choose whether to fully use this power or not. Uh, that's all up to her. But uh, I really think this is a really good episode, especially for Halloween. Uh, but, you know, it's not Halloween yet. But, uh, yeah, I'm really excited for this episode. So, yeah, without further ado, let's go. And I know I, I said I'd do uh, the Day of Black Sun first. But uh, I just remember this episode is before the Day of Black Sun. So, this episode first, then the Day of Black Sun Season 2. Uh, the second part, sorry. Fire Nation attacked. Only the Avatar, master of all four elements, could stop them. But when the world needed him the most, he vanished. A hundred years have passed, and my brother and I discovered a new Avatar, an Ironbender named Dan. And although his uh, running skills are great, he's got a lot to learn before he's ready to save anyone. But I believe. And can save the world and yeah I know I kind of like ran off the, the um, intro there but yeah previously on Avatar you're looking at the only waterbender in the whole South Pole I like how her voice actually grew up with the show so the legends say the moon was the first waterbender our ancestors saw how it pushed and pulled the tides and learned how to do it themselves Noticed my water bending is stronger at night. Mm -hmm. What are you doing? I'm making my own water. Mm -hmm. Yikes, and that like the scar as well should give you an indication. Like as a kid as well, like I kinda knew. Why is there an eyeball? And the the tree as well. I think I like the man with the sword for a hand better. Water tribe slumber parties must stick. No, wait, I've got one. And this is a true southern water tribe story. Is this one of those a friend of my cousin knew some guy that this happened to stories? No, it happened to mom. Mm. One winter, when mom was a girl. A snowstorm buried the whole village for weeks. A month later, Mom realized she hadn't seen her friend Nini since the storm. So Mom and some others went to check on Nini's family. When they got there, no one was home. Just a fire flickering in the fireplace. While the men went out to search, Mom stayed in the house. When she was alone, she heard a voice. It's so cold, and I can't get warm. Mom turned and saw Nini standing by the fire. She was blue, like she was frozen. Mom ran outside for help. But when everyone came back, Nini was gone. Where'd she go? No one knows. Nini's house stands empty to this day. But sometimes people see smoke coming up from the chimney. Like little Nini is still trying to get warm. Mm. <gasps> Wait! Guys, did you hear that? I hear people under the mountain. And they're screaming! Nice try. No, I'm serious. I hear something. You're probably just jumpy from the ghost stories. It just stopped. Alright, now I'm getting scared. Hello, children. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to frighten you. My name is Hama. You children shouldn't be out in the forest by yourselves at night. I have an inn nearby. 
Why don't you come back there for some spiced tea and warm beds? <laughs> yes, please. Thanks for letting us stay here tonight. You have a lovely inn. Aren't you sweet? You know, you should be careful. People have been disappearing in those woods you were camping in. What do you mean, disappearing? When the moon turns full, people walk in, and they don't come out. Mm. Who wants more tea? I don't think anybody wants tea after that, man. Why don't I show you to your rooms and you can get a good night's rest? How can anybody get a good night's rest after that story, man? Just crazy. I know, Momo, this place is creepy. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to fall asleep. And he sleeps, yep. <laughs> That's totally me, actually. Wakey, wakey. Time to go shopping. That Mr. Yao seems to have a thing for you. Maybe we should go back and see if he'll give us some free Komodo sausages. You would have <laughs> me use my feminine charms to take advantage of that poor man? I think you and I are going to get along swimmingly. <laughs> you won't have any ash bananas till next week? Well, I have to send the boy to Hingwa Island to get them, and it's a two-day trip. Oh, right. Tomorrow's the full moon. Exactly. I can't lose another delivery boy in the woods. People disappearing in the woods? Weird stuff during full moons? This just reeks of spirit world shenanigans. I bet if we take a little walk around town, we'll find out what these people did to the environment to make the spirits mad. And then you can sew up this little mystery lickety split, Avatar style. Helping people. That's what I do. Why don't you all take those things back to the inn? I just have to run a couple more errands. I'll be back in a little while. This is a mysterious little town you have here. Mysterious town for mysterious children. Okay, that was a creepy line. That was a creepy line. <laughs> that Hama seems a little strange. Like she knows something. Or yeah. She knows something. That's ridiculous. She's a nice woman who took us in and gave us a place to stay. Well, because too nice. If you 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 ask me, you, you know what? I mean? Mysterious children. Do well, I mean, I you did Maybe come out of nowhere too. Like, yeah, that that that, that also kind of makes sense. I'm gonna take a look around. What are you doing? You can't just snoop around someone's house. It'll be fine. You could be home any minute. Sokka, you're gonna get us all in trouble. And this is just plain rude. I'm not finished yet. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> okay, that's pretty creepy. So she's yeah, got man. a Come on. Yeah, I mean, also, Sokka, you know. That that's creepy and probably she probably has an obsession on the on the puppets maybe. It's empty except for a little chest. Maybe it's treasure. Saka, what are you doing? You're breaking into a private room. I have to see what's in there. We shouldn't be doing this. Maybe there's a key here somewhere. Oh, hand it over. Nice. Come on, come on. This isn't as easy as it looks. Guys, I don't know about this. <laughs> this is crazy. I'm leaving. Suit yourself. Do it, Toph. I'll tell you what's in the box. Oh! What's in the box? An old comb? It's my greatest treasure. It's the last thing I own from growing up in the Southern Water Tribe. <clears throat> You're from the Southern Water Tribe? Just like you. How did you know? I heard you talking around your campfire. 
But why didn't you tell us? I wanted to surprise you. I bought all this food today so I could fix you a big water tribe dinner. Of course, I can't get all the ingredients I need here, but ocean kumquats are a lot like sea prunes if you stew them long enough. There you go. Right. I knew I felt the bottom right away. And I knew you were keeping a secret, so I guess we're both right. Ouch. But I'm sorry we were sneaking around. Apology accepted. Now let's get cooking. That's totally what sisters would do attack. I mean, you know, like, personally, by personal experience. I'd steer clear of the sea prunes. I thought they were ocean kumquats. Close enough. Who wants five favorite soup? You're a waterbender! I've never met another waterbender from our tribe! That's because the Fire Nation wiped them all out. I was the last one. So how did you end up out here? I was stolen from my home. It was over 60 years ago when the raid started. <laughs> That's the. That's where the last ship was. Yeah, yeah. Finally, I too was captured. I was led away in. So sad. So sad. The last waterbender of the Southern Water Tribe. Mm mm mm. They put us in terrible prisons here in the Fire Nation. I was the only one who managed to escape. How did you get away? And why did you stay in the Fire Nation? I'm sorry. It's too painful to talk about anymore. We completely understand. We lost our mother in a raid. Oh, you poor things. Mm -hmm. I can't tell you what it means to me. Scars of war, man. Scars of war. I never thought I'd meet another southern waterbender. I'd like to teach you what I know so you can carry on the southern tradition when I'm gone. Hmm. Yes. yes, of course. Be careful what you wish for. It would mean everything to me. <laughs> careful what you wish for. Growing up at the South Pole, waterbenders are totally at home surrounded by snow and ice and seas. But as you've probably noticed on your travels, that isn't the case wherever you go. I know. When we were stranded in the desert, I felt like there was almost nothing I could do. That's why you have to learn to control water wherever it exists. Well, there is still it's water in water uh, the, the desert. It's just guitarist. really but deep like down below. But did you know you can even pull water out of thin air? Yeah. Clouds. You've got to keep an open mind, Katara. There's mm -hmm. water in places you never think about. Mm -hmm. This has got to be the nicest natural setting in the Fire Nation. I don't see anything that would make a spirit mad around here. Maybe the moon spirit just turned mean. The moon spirit is a gentle, loving lady. She rules the sky with compassion and lunar goodness. Yeah, okay. Excuse me, sir. Can you tell us anything about the spirit that's been stealing people? Only one man ever saw it and lived. And that's old man Ding. Where does old man Ding live? Wow. <laughs> Where does old man Ding live? They're called fire lilies. They only bloom a few weeks a year. But they're one of my favorite things about living here. And like all plants and all living things, they're filled with water. I All who living stop, things. You can control the vines by bending the water inside. You can take it even further.
incredible. It's a shame about the lilies, though. They're just flowers. When you're a waterbender in a strange land, you do what you must to survive. Tonight, I'll teach you the ultimate technique of waterbending. Man, there's a lot of subtext to the the night time teaching, if you know what I'm saying. I know, no, it's not the other way. <clears throat> Two master waterbenders beneath a full moon? I don't think we have anything to worry about. Old man Ding? Huh? Oh, I can't blame it. What? Can't you see I'm busy? Got a full moon rising. And why does everyone call me that? I'm not that old. Uh, uh, uh. Well, I'm young at heart. Uh, I'm young at heart. <laughs> not ready to get snapped up by some moon monster yet, at least. We wanted to ask you about that. Did you get a good look at the spirit that took you? Didn't see no spirit. Just felt something come over me, like I was possessed. Forced me to start walking toward the mountain. Mm -hmm. I tried to fight it, but I couldn't control my own limbs. It just about had me into a cave up there. And I looked up at the moon for what I thought would be my last glimpse of light. But then the sun started to rise. And I got control of myself again. I just hightailed it away from that mountain as quick as I could. Why does the spirit want to take people to a mountain? Oh no! I did hear people screaming under the mountain. The missing villagers must still be there. Mm -hmm. God damn. The music just makes it even more eerie. Like, it's so much. I can hear them. They're this way. Can you feel the power the full moon brings? For generations, it has blessed waterbenders with its glow, allowing us to do incredible things. I've never felt more alive. Um. I can't see anything down there. That's why you have me. Let's go. That's why you have me. Oh yeah, she's learned metal bending, right, right. We're saved. I didn't know that spirits made prisons like this. Who brought you here? It was no spirit. It was a witch. A witch? What do you mean? She seems like a normal old woman, but she controls people like some dark puppet master. Hama. Yes, the innkeeper. I knew there was something creepy about her. We have to stop Hama. I'll get these people out of here. You go. True. What I'm that freaking owl, man. I well, I will. I will bird, I guess. It's mostly. The guards were always careful like... to keep any water away from us. They piped in dry air and had us suspended away from the ground. Before giving us any water, they would bind our hands and feet so we couldn't bend. Any sign of trouble was met with cruel retribution. And yet each month I felt the full moon enriching me with its energy. There had to be something I could do to escape. Then I realized that where there is life, there is water. The rats that scurried across the floor of my cage were nothing more than skins filled with liquid. And I passed years developing the skill that would lead to my escape. Blood bending. Controlling the water in another body. Enforcing your own Yeah, I think Katara knows now. Once I had mastered the rats, I was ready for the men. <laughs> And during the next full moon, I walked free for the first time in decades. My cell unlocked by the very guards assigned to keep me in. Once you perfect this technique, you can control anything or anyone. <laughs> to reach inside someone and control them? I don't know if I want that kind of power. 
the yeah, choice man. is not yours. The power exists. And it's your duty to use the gifts you've been given to win this war. Uh, well, I mean... Try to wipe us out our entire culture. Your mother. I know. Then you should understand what I'm talking about. We're the last waterbenders of the Southern Tribe. We have to fight these people whenever we can. Not all tradition is good tradition, man. Like the tradition of like child marriages, man, that that isn't good anymore. Threw me in prison to rot, along with my brothers and sisters. They deserve the same. You must carry on my work. Those eyes, man. Those eyes. should have learned the technique before you turned against me. It's impossible to fight your way out of my grip. Come on, Katara. You are pretty good at waterbending, man. Come on. This is just sick of it. Look at that. The voice acting, man, is really good. Look at that. Oh, I love the rustling of the leaves and everything. Oh man, I mean, yeah, she drew water from the trees as well, but yeah, she could have done that too. Well, she probably should have iced her, you know what I'm saying? We know what you've been doing, Hama. Give up! You're outnumbered! No. No, you've outnumbered you yourselves, no yeah. Nah, it's your muscles, man. It's okay. Congratulations, Katara. You're a bloodbender. <laughs> God damn. Oh man, after all this all this time as well, I still got the feels from it. Ah, uh, that's how you know it's still a strong episode. Uh sorry about this. <coughs> Yeah, after all this time, I still got um, uh, feels from this. That's how you know there's real, like, rewatchability uh, from it. Uh, so yeah, guys, uh, that's about it. And uh, uh, this episode is really more about like the the choices we make and all of that. And like, as we know in the further episodes, you know, like Katara doesn't really want to do the, do it anymore until that is uh, Southern Raiders, which I'm really thinking about doing, but. Uh, also not really uh well I'll, I'll see how i feel about that when when the time comes but uh yeah guys uh so that's about it and i really enjoyed this episode so um yeah i hope to i have to see you guys in the next episode uh see you then